as a listener, if you want to make the music you hear louder or softer, you can either adjust the volume by turning a knob on your stereo or gliding a cursor on your smartphone. But when you're performing music, things aren't that simple, especially when playing music with frequent variations in volume. This video is about dynamic markings in music. Stick around to learn what they are and what they mean. Two of the most effective ways to convey emotion through music are through speed and through volume. I've already made a series of videos on the subject of speed of performance, and this video has to do with the volume of music being performed. There's an established convention of Italian words and expressions that help communicate how loud or soft to play a section of music. I'll be presenting these expressions in two parts. First of all, we'll go through the basic terms that have to do with volume. And second of all, we'll go through the expressions that have to do with changes in volume. For the sake of brevity and concision, I won't be presenting every single term and expression that exists out there, but I will be presenting the most important ones. Let's get started. At the root of dynamic markings, there are only two levels of volume, loud and soft. Loud in Italian is forte, and soft in Italian is piano. Think of forte as yelling and piano as murmuring. From forte, even louder, we have fortissimo, and a bit softer, we have mezzo forte. Think of fortissimo as screaming at the top of your lungs, and mezzo forte is like talking very loudly, as I am doing right now, and as I'm usually doing because I tend to be a loud talker. And from piano, if you go softer than that, you have pianissimo, and a bit louder, you have mezzo piano. Pianissimo is like whispering, and mezzo piano is like talking very softly, like when you're talking with a friend in a cafe and you don't want everybody else around to listen to what you're saying. Here's a chart that summarizes the six basic volume levels I just presented. I've also marked the abbreviations used in printed music. Notice how the abbreviations just become a repetition of the letters F or P when going towards the louder and softer ends of the chart. On this issue, you'll often find triple Fs and triple Ps in written music, and rarely you'll also find more extreme dynamic markings such as 8 Fs and 8 Ps. These exaggerations for a solo performer become much more conceptual, but for a full orchestra, they do have their merit since there's a huge difference between having all the performers playing as loud as they can and having one single performer playing as softly as he possibly can. Let's just say that we have to leave it to context in order to understand the meaning of these extreme dynamic markings. This is it for the first part of this video. Let's move to part two. Let's talk about changes of volume during a performance. The first category is gradual changes. The word crescendo means gradually getting louder, and the word diminuendo means gradually getting softer. Another word for diminuendo is decrescendo, which obviously means the opposite of crescendo. More often than not, these indications are actually notated as symbols that look like hairpins. By intuition, you'll understand that the narrow end of the hairpin is the softer end of the volume change. The second category of changes in volume is sudden changes in volume. Sforzando means an accent. It's like a punch, it's like a shout, it's like a yop, it's like a flash of loudness in the music. And forte piano means to first play loudly and then shy away and start playing slowly. It's like changing your mind suddenly and not playing loudly anymore. You'll also find variations of these concepts like sforzando piano and fortissimo, pianissimo, which work on the same principle of first playing something loud and then shifting to something soft real quickly. That does it for part two of this video. Before I let you go, here's an important footnote that I absolutely need to emphasize. The whole concept of loudness and softness in music when it comes to performance is actually quite relative. Think about it. For a musician with a small body structure without much muscle strength, that musician's level of fortissimo will be much softer than the fortissimo of another musician with a lot of muscle strength. The same thing goes with playing the same dynamic markings in a different environment. For instance, in a large concert hall or in a tiny little room or if using amplification. As I said earlier, 
Context means everything when it comes to musical performance. Well, there it is! Now you know a little bit more about dynamic markings in music. Like and share this video if you found it interesting, and subscribe to this channel in order to get more content like this coming up. This being said, thank you so much for watching, and see you later!